Um, our students come from families who are tribals. They belong to Munda tribes, Sabars, and Bhumij. They are the people who had the tradition of being people living in the forest for generations. Their livelihood dependent on forest. And suburbs in particular, they are traditional hunter and gatherers for more than 2,000 years. So, uh, with the advent of our so-called civilization, um, there was a serious dent in their natural livelihood. There were crises. The crisis developed at different sections of their normal life. It affected their livelihood. It affected their mental state. And to some extent, it affected their political thinking also. But these people are basically honest, simple, in spite of, in spite of some of them suffering from severe financial and other problems. I do not know, they manage to maintain a simple life and preserve the basic honesty. Now, because of myriad reasons, a good section of them are addicted to locally available liquors, which might be giving them some kind of solace, but at the same time put their life into uh, some serious hazards with regard to health, social life, etc. At the same time, these people will find that uh, outsiders like us, at least some of them, could be trusted. And they felt that they could be trusted to the extent that they can be given to take charge of the education of their students. And these little boys and girls, they are very well aware of the limitations of their parents and very much surprising, totally contrary to what our urban thinking is that they are not disrespectful to their parents. The beautiful thing at uh, the huge paradigm shift that I observe from my urban upbringing uh, and I really enjoy being here. I really consider myself fortunate to be among them and it is every day an edifying experience for me and the love I get from them, well, it, it is not something that I can measure or I can pay off. I am indebted to them.